goes, we've got an American Padlock 1100 series. Um, supposedly, this would be a challenge lock pinned up by steel pinnings. Supposedly, but of course, I can't verify that because I've never been inside. Um, could just be a stock uh, 1100. Uh, maybe maybe we'll be lucky enough to actually get in and have a look and see. Um, I think I should take this with a Sparrow's Heavy Bar and with an American pick on it because it's an American lock. So I think we're going to go in with a Peterson Trusty uh, 18 thousandths. Sorry. See what we can get from it. Straight away, pin number one feels like it's binding. Gave me a click. Two clicks off number two. My kind of picks a bit stuck there. Pin number three doesn't really want to give anything. Pin number four gave me a nice click immediately. And a bit of counter rotation and set. So maybe it is a challenge lock. Got a bit of a deeper false set there now. Uh, uh, nothing I want. And number two feels quite high up in the keyway. I don't think it's given us any counter rotation. And number three is, however. It didn't open the lock though, did it? I was kind of hoping it would. And number two. Now gave us a couple of clicks. Didn't open the lock either. <laughs> pin number three is now back to attention. Oh, what was that about? Pin number four. Pin number five. I don't think there's a six pin in this lock. Let's come back to the beginning. I'd like to see if pin number two is going to do the same as it did last time. No, okay, so that's good there, I reckon. And then I'm a bit lost, actually. Um, ah, tell you why I'm lost, because it's bloody open, isn't it? I always do that with these Americans, always. Such a pain. <gasps> I always do this. All right, um, let's pop her down there. Let's clear a bit of space and let's see what was inside it, shall we? Sorry for that noise. Uh, let's hope my screwdriver is going to open it. And yes, it is. Okay, so we've got the core out. Lovely. Ah. Let's see if there's any sign of modification. Alright, so what do we need to do? We need to get that clip off. I do have the key, don't I? So I guess I can close it back up. That's going to be safest. Um, let's get that clip off. These things are so small. things are so small, I always have problems dealing with them. Um, let's try this. That's better. It's pinged off, but it haven't lost it. And let's start getting this thing a bit, this place a bit tidied up. Before we get into this, um, I am going to need a shim. Okay, I've got the key over here. Shim doesn't want to go in. That's better. No. I'm a follower. I don't have the right kind of follower for this. 
So that's why we really need to be sure that our shim is in the right position, but it doesn't want to go in. Oh, I'm going to make a real mess of this. Hang on. If I do it this way, we should be better off, right? Go on, let's try it without. Woofer. Okay. There's definitely some weirdness going in. Now, chamber six was populated. Ah. Yeah, okay. But it's basically zero. Anyway, let's have a look and see. Stop this speculation. Well, it definitely ain't no stock American. That's for sure. Where are my tweezers? Oh no, please don't tell me I can't find my tweezers. We're going to be in big trouble if we don't find our tweezers. Turn up. What did you do after the last gutting? You lost the bloody tweezers, didn't you? Oofa. We're in the front now. We're in the front here. Well, this is definitely a challenge lock. That's for sure. Yeah, okay, pin number six is like a turning. I'm just getting closer and we can see for ourselves, can't we? Great. Okay. A bit of a camera issue. Going to have to hold it with one hand. Okay, so let's have a look at our key pins. All of our key pins are serrated, some of them heavily so. Some of them are a proper work of art. Coming down to our drivers. We vary from serrated To quite ornate spools, to some kind of chess pieces, beautiful, kind of serrated stack, another one the same, and this number six was a heavily serrated T-pin but it was more or less at zero lift, so I guess it's only the T-pin that actually came into play and the first time I touched it, um, I would have set it. So, all right, very nice. So that was apparently a challenge lock set by steel pinnings in an American 1100 series. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much Frosty901 for sending me that lock a while ago. Maybe it was even Cameron who sent it, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, thanks guys, uh, thanks for watching, and speak soon.